positive for him because I felt like he had something to tell me too because you know he knew about me too so it's kind of like he he wanted to have this conversation with me as much as I wanted to have it with him I think it was important for both of us um probably more important for me and I feel like you know five years later I was ready to have that conversation with him and I did have closure he did tell me a lot of things I needed to hear and it was a beautiful moment it really was did he know a lot more about you? Cause I mean, you know, you didn't know about him. He knew that you existed. So yes. did you like, were you just shocked at, I mean, was he like, I know. Oh my and- God. He knew so much about me and my mom and my kids and everything. I mean, like I said, we cried, we laughed. We, you know, there was a few things there that I had to like take a deep breath, um, you know, to kind of like, you know, process what he was saying. But, you know, everything else, yeah, I was really, you know, I, I wasn't so surprised that he knew so much about us because I felt that Herman loved me and our family so much that, and he was so proud of us that he would talk about us, you know? So he did talk a lot about us to him. He just never talked to, about, about him to me, which I wish he would have because he was a beautiful man too. I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, yeah, I don't blame him falling in love with him, really. You weren't nervous at all about meeting up with him? You know, I was a little nervous. The thing is that we, you know, the gay community here, a lot of people know each other. So I had some friends that knew him. So they had been seeing each other like at places. And, you know, he would always ask about me. How's Alexia doing? Blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, you know, here's my number, you know, in case she, you know, she ever wants to talk to me. But so I feel like we were both kind of ready. And I felt like he always thought that, Cause you know, he knew what kind of woman I was that I would reach out to him. And we kind of never did it. Cause there was like some legal stuff going on. And we kind of stayed away from each other just because of that. Not because we wanted to, because I think like deep inside we wanted to be friends, you know, I wanted to talk to each other. That's good. Do you think you'll see him again? I mean, if I go to one of like the gay clubs with my friends, with my gay friends, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I would see him now, I mean, I know what he looks like. I mean, I knew this man existed. I just didn't know that he was in a relationship with, you know, my ex-husband. You know, I mean, we were separated. So, like, I never really see it as cheating because, you know, we were separated at the time. I just, you know, would have wanted to know. I mean, just because, you know, I... There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? Like, I would have wanted to know whether it was a girl or a guy or whatever, that he was, like, seeing somebody and that he was really, like, involved with this person. Totally. What about, like, you mentioned social media, like, and all, everyone has a comment about everyone. I mean, that's the world we live in now. What do you say to, like, all these people online? You know, there's a lot of people that are loving this. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm one, I mean, I'm a gay man. But what do you say to the people that, I mean, shocker, I'm a gay man. But what do you say to the people that say, you know, it wasn't really your, it's not really your story, you know, as far as like Herman and your father, like you're basically like outing these two people. Right. Well, I think we live in a society like that. You know, we, we still live in a society no matter how open we are and how all this awareness, because that's, you know, usually that's where you want to like share all these stories because there has to be more awareness and openness and people would be more open, you know, with their hearts and with their minds, then we wouldn't live in this world that we do. You know, obviously everybody's gonna have an opinion, everybody's gonna have something to say, but it is my story because all these things affected me. So it is my story. Unfortunately, he's no longer here to say his story. He would have never said his story, you know, as far as the sexuality, you know, I mean, he's, you know, he's, that's not Herman's only story. I mean, he was a very successful man. He was very powerful. He was, you know, a, you know, philanthropic. He was a great man. And we all know that. But at the same time, I had to say my story because A, it was always rumors. The girls brought it up in season three. It didn't really happen like that, but it it was rumored. And B, after he passed away, when the person's no longer here, everybody starts talking. So yes, maybe all of America or Europe or wherever they're streaming, whoever's watching it and, and you know, in Saudi Arabia, maybe, but maybe they didn't know. But in my community and in the Cuban American community here in Miami, a lot of people knew, you know, and it's still a taboo. You know, people want to act like, oh, it's so cool. 
or we're so open, we're that, and they're all a bunch of liars. I am not. Like, I really feel that in my heart. And the people that really know me know that I'm super open to that. And that should never determine anything. And I really feel that, like, in my heart. So that's why I feel like since I went through that with Herman, and, you know, I've always had so many gay friends and been so involved, you know, secretly, because not that I was ashamed, but I was like, oh my God, maybe they think it's because of that. So I kind of like kept things separate, but my heart has always been that. I've always wanted to be an advocate and I've always wanted to like, you know, help in any way. And with that being said, when I was being honored at the Winwood Pride, it made me think of my dad. I mean, it made me think of my dad. So it's like, this is reality TV. You don't know what you're gonna say, how you're gonna act, just like that moment that you saw between Peter and Todd, it's like, it's like the camera's there and you don't even know, you know, I've never done anything for the camera, unlike other girls, <clears throat> we can talk about that after. So I've never had to do anything for the camera. So it is my story, you know, and I feel like people should be more open and more sensitive and compassionate about when people are being real and opening things up that is actually helping themselves because I feel like that it was very therapeutic and healing for me. Once you say things, it's kind of like, wow, like you can take, like I can breathe now and you know what? And now I'm proud of it. You know, I'm not ashamed. You know, I grew up being ashamed or, you know, or my family protecting me from knowing that my father had, you know, was bisexual because they thought it was a bad thing. Because if they thought it was a good thing, why didn't they tell me? Why didn't they tell me? You just said, listen, the, the, you know, just explain it. You know what, because my dad was a great dad. He spent all his life fighting for us. He was discriminated against because of his sexuality, you know, as far as like custody went and all that. So why, you know, so that's why I'm not, um, you know what, I'm not gonna be quiet about it anymore. And if I can help, you know, any, any man or woman that's going through something like this, I will. And, you know, the world just needs to be more sensitive and more open about this. I mean, it's just like, it's just mind boggling to me, honestly. It's time. Well, before we move on to the other girls and doing things for the camera, mm -hmm. do you think, you think that Herman like never would have, like if you guys were still married now, like you think he still would have not come out? Herman would have never come out. And this was a question that I had to his lover. And because that was one of the questions that I needed to know. Because, you know, I, you know, he knew I cared and loved friends so much and, and that I was so open that all my friends were gay. And he would tell this guy that he was like, I know Alexia is so cool. And she was, you know, he goes, but, you know, I, he's like, I don't want to disrespect, disrespect her. That was what he said. And I said, but he's disrespecting me, kind of like not telling me, not that he's living a double life because, you know, we were separated, but, you know, I want him to trust, him. like, I wanted him to know that it was okay. Like, I got you. Like, you know, I still admire, respect, and love you. This is never going to change our relationship. And I never had the moment to do that. You know what I mean? And I was like, I, I just felt, I, I just feel like I wish I would have had that moment because I know he thinks he was like all alone, right? And like with nobody's support. So I'm just, you know, unhappy about that. But I got to have that moment with this boyfriend. And he said he would have never told you because he respected you too much. I said, but why? That's not like, I, you see, like the boyfriend's telling me that. Like they think that that's disrespectful. I, wow. you know, we didn't really like, you know, elaborate on that. But he's like, he would have never told you. Wow. So, and I feel like not only me, but, you know, I feel like, you know, some people didn't know. And it's like small group. And, you know, they supported him. But, you know, they just thought that. They, they shouldn't tell me, like the woman. It's just, again, I think it's, it might, might be like a cultural thing or like, you know, he's a young guy, but Herman, you know, was older. And it's kind of like, okay, that happened. 